Marcelo Garcia is a guy that his game, he and no gi are very, very similar and they're equally effective to the point where, you know, he's not relying on grips, you know what I mean? But he's also not lost when he's doing the gi. He's going to grab a collar if he sees it, but his no gi game is just stellar. It seems to me that, you know, you, you embody that like Marcelo Garcia type of idea of like the games are really, really close and they work no matter what, if it's gi or no gi. So that's a, I think that's a really good point. Is that something Marcelo um, really instills in you guys on the mats have an equal effectiveness in gi and no gi? I mean, I think the effectiveness, uh, it's exactly what you say. I always notice like his game does not change for gi and no gi and, and he doesn't, he's not so reliant on grips. Mm -hmm. So it, I, what I like when he, when he teaches things or when he explains things is like, a certain grip that we make a certain position it's not necessarily about the grip itself that you have with the hand it's more about the body placement while you have that grip so it's more about using your body weight and just using and you have more control that way rather than just relying on a particular grip um you know i i think my game is a little bit different from his so i do have to change things a little bit gi to no gi it is like say for example i'm more of a delahiva guy it is hard to play a delahiva in no gi effectively you have to rely on different kind of guards to. So then I, I kind of play more singly X and more reverse Del Hiva and waiter uh, in no gi, whereas in the gi I'll, I'll, I'll be more heavily relying on, on like a Del Hiva game. Um, but his ideas kind of like translate over to me as well. You know, I do know that like it's not so much about the grips that we want to rely on, but it's more about body weight and body positioning uh, that's most important. So sometimes you have a certain control, but you can't make the grip exactly what you want. But as long as your arm or your body is in that right place you could still have that same effective control from there, even if it's not the exact grip that you want. So he's not reliant on the, on, the, on those kind of things I've always noticed. Right. So, you know, you talked about gi and no gi, right? Isn't the goal to sort of excel at both? Because we see so many people focusing on one or the other and not really trying to excel at both sort of, you know, to be the best in both. Yeah. So I, I always did appreciate Marcelo's in that way. I remember when I was at Henzo's back in the day, and this was like my own, this was my own fault because they had Ginogi classes regularly, but me as a competitor focused on IBJF, I thought, okay, just to get better in the gi, which was my main focus was just to train the gi all year round. And I basically never trained any no gi about 11 months out of the year. I would do, you know, only training in the gi. And then, you know, there'd be like no gi pans and no gi worlds. And I'd spend like a month or two in uh, no gi, you know, and, um, and I remember that was completely different when I went to Marcelo's. As soon as I got there, it didn't matter what tournament you're getting ready for. It was gi and no gi, like equally throughout the entire week. And I, I, I first, I didn't like that. I was like, what? This is, this is dumb. I'm training for gi worlds and I'm training no gi right now. I wasn't into that, but you know, he has an emphasis of like jujitsu is jujitsu. Training is training. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's things that can benefit you training gi into no gi and then vice versa mm -hmm. as well. Um, and like I just said, like the grips, you don't rely on, you, you, you don't want to have to rely on them so much. So it's more about proper positioning and stuff like that. So I learned to kind of forget about that whole like, oh, training in the gi for a gi tournament. It doesn't, you, of course you want to, but it doesn't really matter that much mm -hmm. as much as you think. Um, so I always like that kind of equally training both. First of all, you're always ready for anything that's going to be coming up. And secondly, you know, it just, at the end of the day, it's just, it's just training. There's always ways to get better at both regardless of what you're doing that day. Mm -hmm.